edible fruits. You have probably heard about juicing. Some people drink a lot of juice or even drink only juice because they think that it will make them lose weight. But that's not true. What you should do instead is to eat whole fruits. That's because juice is relatively high in calories and won't keep you as full as solid food will. So you'll end up drinking more. A whole fruit provides more micronutrients for the same number of calories. With more fibers, the feeling of fullness will be increased and the absorption of calories will also decrease. This is why a whole fruit and a glass of water will be better for your diet. Quinoa. This food is becoming more and more popular now that people know its benefits. That's because quinoa is not only filling, but also loaded with nutritional value, including nutrients that might help you lose weight. The protein in the quinoa is also harder to break down than carbs or fat, so you'll also burn more calories during digestion. This is what makes it part of the best meals to start the day. And it's also very easy to eat quinoa every day. That's because this food has a neutral flavor. This is why it works in many types of dishes and you are eating it. Many people stopped eating eggs when they found out about their high cholesterol and fat content. But surprisingly, doctors said that adding a little bit of cholesterol to your diet won't increase cholesterol levels in your body. And anyway, this risk factor for cardiovascular disease is not as important as we once thought. Whole eggs actually contain nutrients that are really good for your health, including choline and sometimes omega-3. So if you like eggs, don't keep yourself from eating some tomorrow morning. Your body will thank you. Salmon. This type of fish is high in nutrients with reasonable calories, and once your body gets all the nutrients it needs, it won't ask you to eat more than you should. It also includes vitamin B12, which is an essential part of your diet even though you want to protect animals that live on earth. Salmon is full of lean proteins that will make you feel full longer and does not spike blood sugar, but soup before every meal could be the key to success. You might feel like you are eating more food, but actually, eating soup will make you feel fuller and you won't need to eat as much when the main meal is served. It will also force you to slow down. This is how you will consume 20% fewer calories during the whole meal as long as the soup is low calorie. Moreover, eating soup is a great way to add water to your diet. Just give it a try and you can see that eating soup is a great way to get in shape. Avocado. We totally understand why millennials love avocado toast. It has become one of the best parts of their diet. This is because eating avocado is a simple way to prevent metabolic syndrome it's a term used to describe a combination of three or more risk factors for heart disease and diabetes like high blood pressure or a large waist circumference. Avocado has a beneficial effect on cholesterol levels and can help stave off belly fat, which is the most dangerous type of fat. This is why this creamy fruit should be added to your diet and is even better if you can eat it every day. Nuts. You will go nuts on this new diet. For years, people didn't eat nuts because of their high fat content, but we found out that they should actually be part of a healthy diet. They contain monosaturated fat, vitamin E, folic acid, magnesium, copper, protein, and fiber. They can also reduce the risk of heart disease and can help lower bad cholesterol levels. Moreover, nuts are really filling, so you won't feel hungry after eating them. As always, as long as you don't overdo it, nuts can help you lose weight. And it's even better if you can add it to the next thing on our list.